If <laughs> you want to start, then start. I'm not, I'm not starting. I'm not starting. Seriously, man, you're annoying me. No, that was your accent. You got then. a big. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. Take You're not having one? On. Well, yeah, actually. Jay, do you need one? No, he's vegan. No, he doesn't use life in You know you can't drink milk or anything, you know that, I know, it? I know, I know. I drink um, almond milk still. I don't drink. You no. papa booze at you, innit? <laughs> you booze, <laughs> innit? <laughs> well, do you still drink normal milk? I don't drink milk. I'm not that guy. I'm getting a belly. I can't lie. I'm getting a belly. I wish I was getting a belly. I've never seen a belly. No, nah, gee, I swear that one. Going on Love Island. Oh my god. <laughs> I've seen so, that picture. Did I've you edit that, that yourself? Well. I literally yeah, saw yeah, that yeah, picture. Yeah. I was like, that is photoshopped. It has to be photoshopped. <laughs> I'm going to go on it. Bear sun cream in it. That's all I need, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right after that. Yeah, get me. As well. That's me, that. Bear sun cream. Shots. I went to Mexico. It's so nice out there to get away for like a week and just chill. No stress. I went to Mexico years ago. I was a is kid. It? Yeah, get on this. Was a kid, yeah. I remember being at the whole. Why are you laughing already, man? <laughs> like, get on this. Because you said get on this. Yeah, it, is that yeah. Your yeah, get on this. Get on this one. Get, get on, on this. this one. Yeah, All get right, on this get one. Get with yeah. me. Okay, go. So we're at the hotel, yeah. I'm with my two little cousins, family, and that whatever. One of my little cousins, yeah, only small. He's like looking over the balcony, but like the balcony's probably like here. Do you get what I'm saying? So then his brother's gone. Yeah, I'll help you. And like lifted his leg up. Something's happened. He slipped. Puff whacked his chin off the balcony, yeah, split open, yeah. <laughs> Cousins on the floor, like, get their chin open. They're all trying to do something on him and that. It's horrible when you've got something like, when you've got like a certain, especially on your face and that, especially what we do and that. Yeah, well, yeah, spots, yeah, spots, spots is the best. This is why I'm happy I'm a female and there's such things as makeup and concealer. Yeah. Concealer is the one. How did you find your makeup and stuff on, the sh on your first photo shoot? Um, being on set. That filming is different to a photo shoot for a magazine. You know, they do have to tend to put a lot more makeup on yeah. you. But yeah, no, it was all right. I'm happy came out it. a day or two happy ago. Yeah, it, I'm it. absolutely over the moon. The shots that they had, absolutely beautiful. And it's funny because it's like even like what you were saying recently about like the boot cuts and all this kind of yeah, stuff. Like, yeah, listen, yeah. they're paying me. I Just don't care. Me, <laughs> but then it's like at the same time, <laughs> oh my God. like when when they was bringing out some of these things, some of these outfits like that I'm actually wearing. I'm like, nah. Yeah, you think? Yeah, nah, yeah, it's, mad, it? it's not gonna happen. And then you put it on me, and I'm like, well, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so, under so, the I like, love a photo shoot, me. I just get mad. I just get mad. Not like, not like angry mad. Just like, just get me mad up. You know what I mean? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Not like you're ready to fight. Yeah, and then and just slide on the camera like, bang, yeah. Oh, okay. Flex, flex, flex. <laughs> Every time I hear a click, bang, bang, change, change, change. H actually came here an hour before us and this is contoured. A couple of <laughs> couple <laughs> highlights in there. I've only recently started to learn that you can completely shape your whole shit just by doing... Yeah. And you can also shave your face now with no, these little like. I've been trying to grow a beard for time. I got Maybe you should cut it first and then. <laughs> Literally. It, no, I've, I've been trying that, but it's not work. Castor oil. Got some. I can never oil, got some um, you, you beard got... oil. I can lend you. <laughs> so I don't. You yeah, got yeah. Oh, my that guy, massive thank beard you, that you've got. got. My bro, I have a big beard, but I don't think a beard will suit me though. I'm gonna look like James Bond and that one. <laughs> One day I'm just gonna come out of the blue. Like you think, everyone's think, where's Aiden? Not drop no tunes for time or anything. Bang! I'm just there with a beard. Jumped out the nappies and stopped being a cheeky little yeah, chappy. Yeah, now he's yeah. a grown man. Hundred <laughs> percent. I think beards for men are great because if you've got like a double chin situation, it just completely it, changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not saying. You was on crud on top boy. Oh gosh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, mad crud, mad crud, mad crud. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, because do you know what? Like, what else am I supposed to say? Like, you're chatting breeze. Like, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say really. Like, you don't need to really have any experience whatsoever. It's mainly mm. about like life experiences and being empathetic. Like, oh, if yeah. you can have empathy, you've already become a professional actor. You just need somebody to see you and hear you. Yeah, yeah. Like, so. To then be working with like people like Ashley Kano and having joining like the So Solid family now. I'm part of like the So Solid family now. Harvey and Romeo Lisa, they're pulling me from pillar to post everywhere. I'm the little sis. Like, so it's nice. Romeo done. You know this. I got lucky, boy. That trick. I got lucky. Like because I wasn't in a mainstream school, I was in a provisional unit. Mm. So when you're in a provisional unit, those who have been to one will know that you're only entitled to like four, maybe five GCSEs. You will never actually get like the extent of what you would get in mainstream. There was no drama or anything there for me to do. So then I just ended up sidetracking and going down a madness. But then lack of GCSEs and putting myself into foster care completely changed. Because by the time I was 18, 
I was a professional actress and I literally had just walked into it out of nothing just from meeting someone that was a friend of the family fate. that had yeah, opportunities, fate, yeah. That's cool. you know, That's cool. so. I moved to London when I was 16 and I was just on some mad like dream chasers thing of like, I'm going to London, I originally wanted to act. And I thought, that's how you get on telly, you're an actress, so I want to be in these standards <laughs> or anything like that. And then joined a college, but everyone thought I was a teacher because I thought I was mad grown and I used to turn up in boots and that. And people were like, miss, I'm like, no, I'm your age. You know, and you move to a new city and you think you can be whoever you want to yeah, be. Yeah. But you're broke because you use all your money to get to your other jobs. And I wasn't being paid for jump off. So then it was like the job I actually want to do and the jobs that are just yeah. funding me being able to go to my other jobs. I don't know. I think it's really hard weighing up and being responsible and stuff when you're like under 18, especially because yeah. you don't have a bloody clue. I was so naive, but also because I was so naive, I was mad fearless and I'd like hustle my way through. That's the grind, that. Really, and come I back. Think, I think that's down to London as well because being in London, it can go at, like one or two ways and it? it can either yeah. drive you or to go mad and get you, get you, get your shit done. Mm. Or it can sort of like put a downer on it and be and like, oh, well, I need to do this, no, I need like, to do that. To cov. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. go and cov. That was probably the best decision I've ever made in my life. Mm. Moving from London to Cov, bruv, best decision I've ever made in my life. Like a weight off your shoulders. Yeah, but I feel like being from Cov is a benefit. And plus, I don't like to claim that I'm from London anymore because I've lived in Cov for seven years. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what's the point of saying, yeah, I'm from London? Like, there's no point. And I feel like I, said, I, think, I think it's a little bit of a, of a little advantage in that. You get me? Like, yeah, some, definitely. Seven definitely. million MCs in London, why don't you just be a Cov That's MC what I'm standard? Yeah, yeah, for real. Like, the way I've done it, yeah. I thought I need to conquer Coventry first. I don't care about London. I don't care about Birmingham, Manny. I need to just be the biggest guy in Cov first. Mm -hmm. And then everything just came after. My thing was more just like, I wanted to, I just didn't want to work in it. I didn't like my job and that. I just thought, yo, this is dead. Not even, I've not even got anything against what was working or labouring in it. Okay. Trying to like take wood upstairs and that, but like, there was a man around here carrying six pieces and I can only carry three. I'm just not, yeah, man. There's, there's no you weren't need. built for it. Yeah, man, we weren't built for it. Not yeah. whatsoever, definitely no, no, not. And then, and then I just thought, yo, I'll f*** this. I need to just do this spitting thing. I'm not really trying to leave Manchester because I feel like, yeah, yeah, just yeah it's me yeah, and it, do you know what I mean? Like, Can't even say nothing without Maya taking the piss out of my accent. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? No, I actually think accents are sick. I used to have a Bristol one and it's gone. That's why I think I'm attached to like trying what to copy other people. What is the Bristol accent? Break my love? Should we talk like that? That's not like that. Scottish. So a bit farmer like No, it's like tractor, don't talk to me, I'm having a laugh. <laughs> tractor. Yeah, it was proper. I think Welsh. No, it's near Wales. It's like an hour away from Wales. Welsh. You're all right. Yeah. I don't know, though, because I think musicians, you can do that. You can do music from wherever you are. But in terms yeah, of, like, presenting and my job, London's I had to come, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, Because there's nothing really in Bristol you couldn't yeah, really yeah. do. That makes sense. Um, but just to let everyone know, Bristol so you know, man, is the man best. Man is the coldest. No, but, yeah. You might get about in tractors and that. I'm not hearing no, that. No, there's no track. There's only a small part of Bristol that actually is like farming. I pull up to you on a tractor that like, you <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never rid a tractor. I always say I want to go on a tractor one day, but that's a separate conversation. Oh. It's like a little friendly competition yeah, as well, yeah, isn't it? Friendly, but friendly. like. Yeah, man, I do think you should si shine on your own, on your own section, on your own side and that. I feel like there's um there's youth in Cov that are like really good at doing mu music and stuff. So I definitely look out for them. Do you, get, yeah, do you know what I mean? I, I definitely look out for them and make sure they're going the right path in that. I do think it's important because if you think about when you were starting and how much you'd appreciate those older people or people that you saw as bigger, Defo. like coming in and giving you advice or like yeah. giving you, like telling you how they got started or whatever it is. I've had a million like things where I'm like, oh my God, life's over and it's never over. Any time that you go through like these mad lows in life or like the biggest thing and you think, oh my gosh, this is it, like mm. I'm mashed something amazing always happens right after. Yeah, right. And then when I look back, I'm like, if that didn't happen, then that wouldn't have happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's made me like this. And then, and then like no L has ever been an actual L. It's always been like a oh, secret God. hidden W. A blessing. Yeah. yeah. I think probably the hardest moment, my biggest downfall throughout the whole of my upcoming career would probably be when my foster carer passed away in 2014. Um, because that meant that I'd basically lost a mum um, I'd lost a household, I'd lost a family, but then all at the same time, I'd also lost X-Men and Star Wars. 
um, I ended up losing both of them. Yeah. I would have been working alongside John Boyega. No way. Literally, literally. Mm. And I would have been Storm in um, the X-Men. Pin Star. Yeah, in X-Men. No yeah. way. So X-Men, like, you know. life just completely changed from it. It was like, all right, what do I do? Do I continue doing this or do I find my feet first? So it was just a matter of taking some time out to find yourself all over again. I feel like it's embracing your truth though. Yeah. I used to be so like, when I first got into Teleworld or whatever, so like shy or embarrassed for anyone to find out like if I came from a council house or if like my dad's been to jail or whatever it was. And then after a minute, I was like, actually, that's what makes me different to you mm-hmm. lot. And I want people to know that so that there are, if there are, sorry, other people that are in similar situations to what I was in, they can be like, oh, wow, I was in that bit. Yeah. And I thought there was no way I'd be able to do that. But she's done it. So let me. And I think everyone kind of with a platform should, if they can or if they're comfortable enough, be more open and honest with their truths. With Jack, there was a lot of myself that had to go into it to then come out the other side of that empowered. I think being vulnerable is definitely very important. It's sad and it's scary, but in order for me to be able to blossom the way that I need to, vulnerability is very crucial. I feel like the one thing that put me off music, yeah, was Illuminati fam. I used to do <laughs> bare, hey, hey, I used to do research on the Illuminati. Used to scare me. I used to, to sleep at scared night. Me. What are you doing, bro? Look at this guy. Stop it. This guy. And then all of them ones that they do hey, down there, I can't. Hey. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you mad bastard. <laughs> Which Crazy. city is the music capital of the UK right now? Manchester. London, I of think. London. Let's be real. If we we're think about real, it. I think London. Nah, of course it is. <laughs> I, would, I would get that one, <laughs> Oh my God, here we go. <laughs> so whose DMs did you last creep in? The last person I actually DMed was Raw Beauty, saying thank you for my nails. Innocent DMs. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. I'm a good girl. Light one, light one, so, light one. I like these games. Text this to the biggest name in your phone book. <laughs> I've woken up inside someone's wardrobe, help. <laughs> you know what? I'm, bu- I'm actually buzzing, yeah? I've semi got a new phone, so there's not that many big people about. Who's the biggest Who's people the biggest? you have on your phone? So AJ Chase is the first big name that you see. I think we'll Why? go AJ, innit? I think just go for that. Yeah. He had a great year. <laughs> Bro, I've woke up in West London. <laughs> Twist it a bit, you know what I mean? Be- I'm local. I went, listen. In some gal's wardrobe. <laughs> Don't need it. Confirm, yeah. confirm, 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 confirm. Okay, fine. He's gonna think I'm a fucking weirdo, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so I've got to do an impression and you've got to guess who it is. Okay. So yeah. I think it's quite easy. No, I'm saying. Cardi B. <laughs> Yeah. You yeah. Did that. <laughs> I was gonna say little man. I don't know why I was little gonna say that. Man. I don't know why I was gonna say little man. Does he do out? Like What's your dream collaboration? Itch. Oi, oi. You two haven't got a song together? Nah, do you know what? We're, we're, it's, yeah, it, yeah, it's impressive. Everyone's, everyone's waiting for it. Everyone's it's waiting, happen. it's gonna happen. Right it's time. about time. But, but we'll keep people on the toes, innit? Let's have a go now. What? Go on, let's make a beat. Yo. Mate, actually, you bottled your freestyle before. <laughs> I'm not leaving, it's not my profession. For the guests to your left. I've got a couple, like, right. quick, quick fire round. Come yeah. let's do this. Rice or chips? Rice. North or south? North. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Feet for hands or hands for feet? Hands for feet. Don't AJ Tracy or Dave? Oh, Dave. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Flying AJ. Flying or invisibility? Fly. Skeptor or Jamie? Jamie. Safe. Right. Oh, three messages. Is it him? Lol. Not our where are you? What area? <laughs> 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 What's my hype song? At the moment, I like... Cardi B and Offset clout, just because when Cardi B's rapping, I feel like I can relate. Like I'm like in that zone of, Cardi B's kind of my spirit animal. For the guest to your left, uh, City or United? United. <laughs> I actually support um, West Ham, so I was talking about West Ham United. <laughs> 90s music or 2000s music? 90s, actually. 90s. Ashley Waters no offense, guys. or Kano? Ooh. It's a hard one still. Ooh. Kano. <laughs> Kano. Yeah. Early nights or afters? I couldn't do that. Afters. Where the party at? H or H from Steps? <laughs> oh, I H from Steps every time. Do you have look? What do Steps sing? What are their most obvious songs? Tragedy! Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tragedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you're on and on and on and it's hard to yeah, get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good era for music. It's all going, isn't it? A lot yeah. of light crap. Um, who around the table causes the most drama? Yeah, man. I don't, I don't, just, don't cause drama. Don't cause drama. People just think I'm a little shit sometimes, but I'm not. I'm actually really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't cause drama. We've all been 
Baby Yoda. Baby I Yoda. like the smell of babies. Like, I like, like, no, the smell of... Oh, Baby Yoda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh is it Baby Yoda baby Yoda? Baby Yoda. Like Yoda baby Yoda. Yeah, baby Yoda. Yeah, Yoda. Oh, Yoda. Yeah. I don't oh, know Baby it. Yoda. Oh. That's why I said I like the smell of baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Baby, um, Yoda. baby Yoda. Win or bin? Bin. Bin. Yeah, I don't really know what that is. Daily Mail. Hate. No. Hate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do I Anti. Fur. Fur. Fake fur. Fake fur. Yeah, I'm I'm anti real fur. Yeah, yeah. AirPods. AirPods. I, yeah, I've bought three and I've lost all of them, same, so now yeah, I just give same. up. I'm, I'm off it. Them. I'm so bad with them. I tried and failed. Um, Rick and Morty. I haven't actually watched it, you know. Watch it. Hey, watch Everyone it. loves it Except and I've not it. ever had a chance yeah, yeah. to watch. BDE. Oh, Big Dick Energy. Yeah, I'm fat. I think I've got Big Dick What's Energy. BD? What's that? Big Dick Energy. I've never heard of that before. You've never heard of that? When people are like, oh, like, she or he's just... got Big Dick Energy. It's yeah, like yeah. where sometimes, you like, sometimes. you're sure of yourself. Yeah, yeah, like you oh, know yeah, yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're like confident or you've got a big dick. All right, so <laughs> this is for, I guess, to my left. So, um, Supreme or Off-White? Um, Off-White. Custard creams or bourbons? Oh, custard cream. Neil or Nessa? Go right, guys, how's it going, all right? Yeah, I'm Make us a sandwich. Yeah, I'll, I'll go Nessa. Uh, Billy or Ariana? Um, Who's Billy? Eilish. Billy. Okay. Billy, Ariana. She's um, so cold. Midlands she's or yeah, Manny? Cold. Um, Midlands, baby, because Ace is from Manny and I'm from the Midlands, and you know the Midlands is popping right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah What's my booth truth? My booth truth. You shouldn't take in so much advice off so many different people. Mm. I could put a chain on and get a Rolls Royce and blow up, or I can. Probably wear some bin bags with a Ford Fiesta behind me and blow up at the same time, and it, there's not one way to do it. My mantra is: no matter what job you choose to go into, no matter what position you are in life, just make sure that you have something that you're doing, and make sure that you push yourself to do that, and make sure you excel in that. The younger generation they need to know that you know you can't just have your cake and eat it. Uh huh. Mm. Big one that. There's actually Big a gigs one. lyric: hustle on the street to make the right pound. Yep. I thought that was quite fitting, that. Mm. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's just beat the odds and remain humble, because especially when you're doubted as well. When a lot of people mm. doubt you, just beat the odds and remain humble. Um, mine is... No, no, it's not. <laughs> mine is... It's quite deep, because no pain, no matter how serious, no matter how big, no matter how traumatising and devastating it is at the time, will ever be the same. Whether it's in a week, it will feel a di bit different, a little bit better in a month, and however. So when you're in your worst situation, just know that it's not forever, it's temporary, and you're going through it. Amen. And then you're gonna come back out. Yep, yep, yep. Romeo, done. 